Since PAC was founded over 40 years ago, we have continued to grow and develop into an organization that is so much more than a club. It's become a home to all general members, new and old. It's incredible to think that we are living the vision that the seven founders of PAC had for this organization. I hope to continue this amazing history and inspire those of you for futures to come. My name is Rachel Shin and I am running to be the Filipino American Coalition President of the 2016-2017 academic year. <laughs> it may be a surprise for some of you, but for those of you who have known me from my freshman year, it was only expected. From the day I was picked up by my Kuya Maddie, we were talking in the dorms and I explained to him that I already knew I wanted to be on cabinet the following year, and even more insanely that I was already planning out my following years in PAC and my roadmap of which positions I wanted to be that would end with either vice president or president. Um, although I didn't follow my roadmap exactly, I definitely feel like my past experience has helped me to become the leader I am today. My passion for this organization and the experience, knowledge, and leadership skills I've gained from cabinet and board prior makes me confident to take on the res responsibility of this position. I've served as public relations 2013-14, costumes coordinator 14-15, and I'm currently serving as PCN coordinator. With my experience with each of these positions, I've learned to work with our SLD advisor and the various offices on campus, uh, the importance of our relationship with SE PASA and our relationship with One Nation, to have a general knowledge of each of our events, how to time manage, to work with both big and small groups of people. Um, I've been in charge of my own board for PCN, quite similarly to what is expected of president, and most importantly, I've developed so much as a leader. From my freshman year, I would have described myself as stubborn and to be a very straightforward person. Although I'm still those things, my leadership skills have developed to being so much more. I'm more open to listening and taking in others' advice. I'm more willing to put my trust into others and to rely on those around me. I've learned to be more patient and understanding and to believe in the pe people I work with and to, not stress, oh, and to not stress over the little things. My leadership skills to have those working with me understand that I'm not afraid to put my foot down, but that I won't use it if it's not necessary. Why stress, why stress myself out and those around me when I can remain confident in them and instead encourage them to be the best that they can be? My vision for PAC is to continue inspiring new members to find their home in this org and to encourage returning members to remember that they will always be welcomed back with open arms. As well as focusing my attention on our general members, something I felt that was lacking this past year was our bond with One Nation Orgs and SE PASA. The relationship between PAC and One Nation is very unique to our campus. We have to continue maintaining this bond by understanding and learning learning together why it was even created, to learn our roots together and become a closer unit as one. Another relationship we need to remember is our ties with SE PASA. To maintain a good relationship with the org in SE PASA creates so much more opportunity for networking. And I want CSULB PAC to be known for more than just being jerks at friendship games. And I want them to understand that we do it for our own history. And that outside of that event, we're an incredible club with more potential than thinking of some funny chants. Um, I would also like to continue our collaborations with other organizations on campus as well. I know, and I know what you're thinking that I'm not focusing on just one thing, but I believe in my ability to strive and make this organization one with a hopeful future. As for the pillars of PAC, I would encourage to keep balance between all four pillars. In order for PAC to be successful, all four pillars must work together and hold PAC up equally. I feel like academic and philanthropy pillars fall short of the social and cultural pillars. I would like to work with the new academic and philanthropy chairs to reinvent new ways to, to make their events more appealing and to encourage our members to come out and help those pillars grow to their full potential. This new cabinet will be made up mostly of new members. I would like to leave them with my wisdom and experience to a successful year. I want to keep up close bonds with, within cabinet, however, oh, well, within cabinet, however, to not cross the line and become too clicky. As a cabinet, we should be looked up to as leaders, but as a whole and as individuals, we must keep up an approachable aura. But I think the most rewarding feeling that I will accomplish as president is, is to inspire next year's cabinet and to mo oh, is to inspire next year's cabinet and to motivate them to reach their potential and to even surpass that to become the leaders that they didn't even know they could be. I know better than most how long the year feels when cabinet went on cabinet or board. I will make sure to re-motivate re them to finish the year strong and to keep progressing and developing until the end. Just like how PAC and PCN have inspired me, I hope I have inspired you to trust me and to vote for me to be next year's PAC president. It would be an honor to, honor to take this opportunity to give back to the organization. Thank you.